Hey, I was going everyone. Just back again with another um, sequence of the end times. This one I have to read directly out of this book because um, I think just the chapter numbers, uh, there might be a bit more text here than the ones on Bible Gateway. But uh, Baruch 6, uh, 44, whatsoever is done among them is false. How should a man then think or say that they are God? So this is coded because it's in verse 44, rep which represents God's elect and it represents God's in small g, which is what they're referred to as throughout the Bible. So when the Bible talks about gods being small g, it's talking about God's elect. I believe they're effectively angels who are now being promoted to be gods. And then in um, verse uh, 47, 48, sorry, for when there comes any war or plague. So now we have a reference to plagues, which is Revelation 16. This is the beginning of the wrath of God. Then in verse 62, and when God commands the clouds to go over the whole world, they do as they are told. So this is referencing the gospel being preached worldwide. Okay, so during the time of plagues, Revelation 16, you have the gospel being preached worldwide, according to Revelation 14, 6. And then in verse 63, and the fire sent from above to consume mountains uh, and woods does it as commanded, but these are to be likened to them, neither in show nor power. So now we have a reference to fire being, you know, um, sent from above to consume mountains and so and woods. And, as, and if you read Isaiah 10, the God of the Bible's ambition is to burn everything except for a few trees. He's literally just going to annihilate this whole earth. And so this is a bit coded, but not, you know, it's worth documenting. Uh, verse 44, we have God's elect. Then we have a reference to plagues. Then we have a ref reference to the gospel being preached worldwide. Um, across the whole world and then fire coming down from heaven. So hope everyone's doing well. Bye.